new storm team. Hello everyone and welcome back to Cakes News of 4. Meteorologist Hunter Binstock here. We're going to start off with a fairly large weather alert across the state. We have a wind advisory across much of the state, only a couple of counties out in eastern North Dakota that aren't underneath this one. It's valid until Thursday, 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. This is going to be for winds sustained 25 to 35 miles an hour with the gust potential to see that 45 mile an hour to 50 mile an hour winds this afternoon. Now, as we look at satellite and radar here, you're not really going to see much towards the north right now, and there's a reason for that. The Minot radar is currently under maintenance until later this evening, so you really can't see the snow up there on radar, but we do have those rain signals down south, and there is snow going on up north as well. So Bismarck right now, temperature is going to be sitting right at 38 degrees, winds of the west, northwest at 29, losing a, quite a few degrees out there, feeling like 26 degrees out there because those really strong winds, humidity sitting at about 44%. In Williston right now, temperatures are going to be sitting right at 32 degrees. Winds out of northwest at 29. Wind chills feeling like 18 degrees. So we're losing a lot this afternoon. Humidity at about 50%. Temperature across the rest of the state going to be in those 30s widespread. A couple of folks got into the 40s this afternoon. We had 42 for Hedinger, 45 for Mobridge, but overall a lot of 30s out there. And a couple of folks didn't even make it above freezing. We have 30 up in Plentywood, 30 for Crosby, 30 for Stanley, and the rest of the folks in those mid to upper 30s. Looking at our lows for tonight, we're going to see those widespread 20s. A couple of folks staying in the upper 20s like Mobridge down there at 28. But for everybody else, low 20s, it's going to be a cold evening with strong winds. So we're talking 5 to 10 degrees of wind chill on top of this where it's going to feel like we're almost going to be in the single digits potentially for some locations. Looking at our wind speed and direction right now, we're primarily out of the northwest. Anywhere from the upper 20s into the low 30s, we have 25 for Linton, 30 for Garrison, 30 up in Newtown, 30 for Sydney. So overall, some very strong winds across the state. And with that northwesterly flow, it's going to affect your highway travel on either of the east and westbound interstates across the state. Looking at our wind gusts right now across the state, we're going to see those 40s all over the place. We have 45 for Garrison, 40 for Dickinson, 43 for Heading, or 41 for Beach. So there are some very significant gusts out there this afternoon, especially for high profile vehicles. Looking at our precision cast here for the next couple of days, we have these rain snow showers that are going to be pretty persistent all the way through the night, get a little more organized for tomorrow around the noon hour into tomorrow afternoon, and then they're going to work their way off into the eastern portion of the state by Friday evening. Now, as we look towards Saturday, some in and out clouds. Sunday is a similar story, a lot of clear skies, a lot of sunshine. But as we roll into Monday, we got a cold front on the way. So we have this cold front that's going to work its way into those western portions of the state bringing that rain chance with us and we're going to see it pretty widespread by the time we roll into Monday. Your wind gust forecast here for the next couple of days. We see those winds. They're going to be persistent here for at least until tomorrow. Tomorrow we're still going to see those winds all day long. By Friday evening they'll start to calm down and we'll really see them start to clear out by the time we get into Saturday morning. Now after Saturday morning it looks like relatively calm winds for the rest of the weekend until we get to Sunday evening. Now Sunday evening again that cold front's going to be on its way. It's going to increase those winds speeds. We'll see those 30s and 35s once again. Now Monday we're going to have some in and out winds and then they should calm down by Tuesday. Look at your Williston five day forecast 36 for tomorrow, 46 on Saturday, 50s for Sunday and then keeping those 50s and 60s for the start of next week and Monday a relatively breezy day. Your Dickinson five day forecast starting off at 37 for tomorrow, 47 on sun Saturday, 61 by Sunday and those 50s and 60s to start next week. Overnight temperatures in those 20s and 30s. Your Minot seven day forecast is going to be in the 30s for tomorrow, 50s for Saturday, Saturday, 60s for Sunday, keeping those 50s and 60s for pretty much the rest of next week. And we have a couple of days where we have those precipitation chances next week. Your Bismarck seven day forecast, we're going to start off in the 30s for tomorrow, 40s for Saturday. Sunday, we're going to be sitting at 59 degrees, keeping those 50s and 60s all week long. We have some rain chances for Monday and some more precipitation chances for Wednesday and a couple of windy days. But overall, Things are going to improve here pretty soon, Joel. Yeah, we're ready for this wind to take a break here and finally settle down. We'll get about two days where we won't have much in the way of winds. And then they'll be right back for a couple more, and then we'll get another break. So, in and out. <laughs> and, and you've got a couple nights there. We're turning on the heat when we go to bed, too. Definitely. A couple of nights they are going to be in those 20s with wind chills, almost mm -hmm. single digits, you know, maybe low teens. This is, this is supposed to be spring right now. It's <laughs> I mean, that's what springs do. They, they spring and then they sprung. Yeah, it's you know? a back and forth. It's a, you stretch it and then it comes back on yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, don't you like how we dress this up here? It's like we're selling cars. Hunter, thank you so much. Still to come on KX News at 4, neighbors in Mandan will not be hearing the rev of the 